I work at GSA's um, multiple award schedule program office that's within the Federal Acquisition Service. It's the brand up there at the top. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the rule changes, the FAR subpart 8.4, um, that affect the ordering um, procedures for the federal supply schedules. To get a little idea of what kind of experience we have in the room, who here has heard of a federal supply schedule? Good. A lot of hands. Um, can I get a volunteer to tell me what the federal supply schedules offers? Anyone? Good. IT services, that's, that's one, one of the main things that we sell, well, that schedule holders sell. Um, basically, the schedules are uh, about 18,000 contracts for commercial products and services that the government and other ordering activities can possibly use to procure the goods and services that they need. So it's a simplified method of buying things from vendors. So today I'm going to talk about some of the changes that have happened to the, these uh, ordering procedures, which are found in 8.4. Um, and first I'll talk a little bit about the, the history of why they made these changes. So back in the 90s, they did the Federal Acquisition Streamlining Act, which basically made buying commercial products and services very easy. And what they found was that people weren't competing these types of procurements. So what we've seen in the current environment, you have the president. Um, oh, wait. Is this where we're supposed to be? OK. Uh, this is the objectives. Sorry. Um, today we're going to talk about the, the <laughs> sorry about that. Today we're going to talk about the, the act that increased these competition requirements. We'll talk about what, they, what these requirements are, and then we'll talk about um, how they affect the schedules and other IDIQ um, indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contracts. So that act is the National Defense, not, the Duncan Hunter National Defense Authorization Act. And here we go. Here's the history uh, behind the, the act. So basically, like I was saying, the president issued a, a few mem memoranda talking about how the, we need to save money through procurement. So that's you guys' job, um, finding better, smarter ways to buy things. And we hope that the federal supply schedules will help you do that. However, there's been some reviews of people using the schedules and abusing the ordering procedures. So they found that they're not following the competition requirements uh, beyond, behind setting up uh, BPAs or even ordering uh, directly off the schedules. We had some uh, recommendations from the Santa pa Sarah panel saying that we need to uh, refine the ordering procedures. And so what did Congress do? They, they passed an act saying that any multiple award contract, you need to compete an order over the simplified acquisition threshold to provide fair opportunity for all contract holders to reply to that requirement. And they also, this act also um, increased the rules for transparency if you did not compete those um, those requirements and provide fair opportunity to all your contract holders. So anytime a law gets enacted to change uh, the way that the regulations are written, you have to open a FAR case, which um, a FAR case was opened back in 2009, and it eventually got posted as an interim rule, uh, which, which is important. So the, the rules, the changes that I'm going to talk about today are what we're posted through what we call an interim rule, which means it's subject to change once it goes final. So uh, we're in the process of finalizing that rule now. So some of these rules may change, some of them may not. Uh, so stay posted to our website, which I'll get to later. All right. So what did this rule mainly do to FAR subpart 8.4? Basically, it made the ordering procedures for all of the agencies and all of the state and local governments, all the people who can order off of the schedules, equal to the ordering procedures for the Department of Defense. How many Department of Defense uh, contracting officers do we have in here? Any? No. Oh. Okay. So does anyone know a Department of Defense contracting officer? Good. Do you like them? <laughs> it's not relevant. Sorry. Okay. Yes. All right. Excellent. 
Um, so what it, basically what it did was make any, like I said before, any order that you have that is expected to exceed the simplified acquisition threshold, which can anyone tell me what the simplified acquisition threshold is? A guess. $3,000 is a threshold. That's a good guess. And we'll talk about that later, but that's a micro purchase threshold. Oh, sorry, micro. It's 150,000. 150,000. That's a lot of money. So any order where you're expe expected to spend $150,000, what it says is you have to give fair opportunity to all uh, of those contract holders. That seems like a fair rule, right? Okay, we'll get into the specifics in a second. Um, it also changed the board, uh, BPA ordering procedures and how you establish BPA ordering procedures. Uh, and then it talked a little bit about protests. Those of you who have had a schedule order protested, you know that that has always been an applicable thing to schedules, but um, it just clarified in 8.4 now. 